Before we close, let us summarize three bullet points. Core data services authorization involves both data definition language and data control language. The CDS access control is the data control part, while the CDS entity to which the CDS access control is tied is the data definition part. The second point to take home is that CDS access view is effective only for the corresponding CDS entity view. If it is a consumption view or a composite view, which in turn is using another CDS view which also has access control, in that case, the access control of the underlying CDS view will not be invoked. I repeat, it will not be invoked. So please engrave this point deep into your heart and mind. If you want security and authorization check for a CDS, always create access control to the CDS entity which you are consuming directly. The last point which I want to specify is that authorization and access control is applicable only to CDS entity views and not to the CDS SQL view. We checked in one of our videos how the developers can ruin the access control if they use CDS SQL in their reports. So if you are one of the quality reviewer of your project, make double sure that your developer is not using CDS SQL in his or her reports. What should be the next learning path for the participants? You should learn core data services in detail and use the CDS to design and model virtual data models. Virtual data model is special arrangements of CDS view to get complex desired output. With S4HANA, CDS is one of the pillars of the new programming model, so you cannot neglect CDS and VDM for long. The second learning point is the continuation of the first point. The participants should learn how to consume the virtual data model from Analysis Office or UI5 or Fury app or any other reporting tools. Finally, you need to learn how to architect the security of the virtual data models depending on the consumer of the virtual data model. The consumers can be the Analysis Office or other UI apps or any other reporting tools. In short, mastery of CDS and VDM should be next in your learning kitty list. This brings us to the end of this course. I hope you learned something in these videos which you can use in your real projects. Authorization and access control is a topic which not all trainers cover in details, even on paid trainings. We have tried to share whatever little we learned from our real S4HANA CDS reporting projects. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, share our links with your friends, colleagues and team members. You never know, only our reward subscribers might have access to some premium contents for free. Till we meet in our next free video course, take care and have a blessed time ahead.